So, tell us your story as you remember it. Uh, well, yeah, as I remember it, obviously I'm an old guy, and uh, the year was 1971. It was the summer after I graduated from high school, which obviously does make me an old guy. Um, I was working a summer job up at Priest Lake, and um, I was working for a contractor who did a lot of different things for both residents and, and businesses around Priest Lake, and, and uh, we worked primarily on the east side of the lake. Uh, on this particular day, uh, I was up, uh, once again on the east side, but up uh, near a place called Lionhead. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but Lionhead is farther north, uh, towards north end of the lake. And I was uh, up in the mountains, and I, I can't remember the task exactly, but it was wood related. I was either getting firewood or I was cutting ridge poles for uh, a project, a pole barn or something that we were building. Back then, the uh, building guidelines were less stringent than they are today. Um, and so I was working and I had stopped to eat lunch. And even before I went to that particular area to work that day, uh, the guy I worked for had told me about uh, that, that he had seen caribou in that area before. And it, it was probably the second or third time that I was there working by myself. And so I had, I had stopped for lunch, and I was sitting on the end of a tailgate having lunch, and all of a sudden, the brush just exploded. And having hunted my whole youth for elk and deer, um, I was so surprised to see appear in front of me in just this explosive instant, there were probably eight to ten head of these animals that I'd never seen before. They were caribou. So I was sitting right next to a skid road that was going up the hill and to the east, uh, and, and these guys came out of the brush and I think they must have been pursued by something because they were running. And so they broke through the brush into this open area by the skid road, obviously saw me, and then crashed over the skid road down the other side and, and disappeared, but only for about 60 seconds. And, and I was stunned to see these animals that I'd never seen before and had you know really grown up in the woods, uh, both hunting and getting firewood, and you know, if you live in North Idaho, you're typically in the woods, especially back then. And I was trying to recall in my mind what had just happened to see these eight or ten magnificent animals suddenly appear in, in such a raucous fashion. And all of a sudden, here they come again from the other side, from right to left, and they came up to that skid road and turned and ran away from me up the skid road. Uh, the whole thing only lasted two minutes, maybe three minutes, uh, but it was a memory that is you know, ingrained in this old noggin of mine because it was, it was fabulous to see these animals that I'd never seen. Uh, and that's a short story, but it's my only encounter with caribou in my life. But it was a wonderful one. Did you know right away what you were looking at? The only reason I did know is because of my boss had told me that he had been up in that area and saw caribou before. Uh, so, yeah, it registered pretty quickly, obviously a different looking animal than I had ever seen before. So. Uh, it did. It registered quickly, and I thought, oh, this is so cool. Uh, yeah, it, it, I, I knew right away. Did you know growing up that there were caribou potentially in the Selkirks, or was this a kind of, was this new knowledge? 
This was new knowledge based on my employment for that summer of 1971. I had never, as an as a 18 year old, I had I'd never either encountered them or I can't ever remember having conversations about caribou. Uh, but uh, obviously, since then, there have been lots of conversations about caribou. Uh, but that was, um, yeah, that was my limited knowledge that there were caribou in the Selkirks. Hmm. How does it how does it make you feel knowing now that the caribou no longer inhabit that space? Um, you know, uh, I believe that yeah, I'm an environmentalist at heart, uh, and uh, I, I have a circle of friends and family who are in conflict with my beliefs. Uh, I have a brother-in-law who is so glad that those caribou are gone because they were such a source of consternation for him because, you know, it meant that they were shutting off roads and, and, and other sort of things. Uh, but it bothers me when everything is gone in, 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 the, in the wild kingdom. Um, so for me personally, uh, it is sad that they're gone. Um, and... I say I feel the same way about other animals or fish or whatever that we no longer get to see anymore. So that's how personally how I feel about it.